In this video, we're showing you how to get the new Minecraft launcher from the Microsoft Store. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. And please do make sure this video right until the end so the full steps. And just a quick note as well, to go and actually play Minecraft, you still need to go and purchase it. This is just getting a launcher so it's completely legal and there is no piracy in this video. And without any further ado, let's go and jump into this. If you're in need of a Minecraft server, then look no further than Apex Hosting. There's a link in the description and the pinned comment to go and start your own DDoS protected Minecraft server with instant setup and one click install mod packs. There's also a ton more features as well. Thank you so much, Apex, and let's go and get into this video. Here we are on the old Minecraft launcher, and you probably noticed at the bottom it says we'll be providing ongoing support for this launcher, but there's also a new and improved launcher. Download it now. So I'll be showing you exactly how to get this new launcher and there are two ways of doing this. The first way you can go and click on the download it now button or you can come and close off the launcher for now and all you want to do is come to the bottom left we've got the search icon and all you want to do is go and search for Microsoft Store just like so. As you can see it's already found it and I'm going to go and click on it just like now and then it's going to take a minute to load and I'm going to zoom in on this so you can see exactly what I'm doing and all you want to do is go and search for Minecraft so I'm going to type it in just like this. And I'm going to go and click search and here we are. So as you can see, we've gone and got this here. So it's going to take a minute to load. And the first thing you want to do before you go any further is make sure you're signed into a Microsoft account. To do that, come to the top right and we've got this little icon here and it says profile. Click on it and there's going to be a sign in button. I'm already signed in into my Microsoft account. And just a quick note as well, you may also have a Microsoft account for your Minecraft account. That doesn't matter. You can use a different account as well. And if you're not signed in, it may not allow you to go and download the launcher. So all you want to do is scroll down and come and click on get just like so. And it's now circling as you can see. And quick note, this is completely free as well. And then you're going to go and get a Windows security pop up. Mine says host process for Windows services. Unfortunately, I can't go and record that. And as you can see, it's starting the download and it's now downloading and it's around 45 megabytes and it's downloading it pretty quickly, but that will depend on your internet speed. And it's now installing as well. And just a quick note, even with this new launcher, you still have access to the dot Minecraft folder, which if you didn't know it is where you can install things like mods and you can also go and use shaders in this Minecraft launcher as well. It's very similar, just a new version from the Microsoft store. Then all you want to do is wait for Minecraft to finish installing. Unfortunately, it may not always be that straightforward. If you're on the download or install page, wait there for around five minutes as it may still be doing downloads in the background, which you can't see, and then go and try these steps. In my case, it didn't actually go and install. And what I actually did, I went and click on my library. And I went and scrolled down a bit. And you're going to go and notice when you first go and get a launcher or a game off of the Microsoft Store, you need to go and download something called Gaming Services. So that took a minute or two. And I did notice the Gaming Services were actually frozen. So all I did was, was close the Microsoft Store. And I went and opened up the Xbox app. The Xbox app is pretty much always on your Windows computer now. So all you want to do is search in Xbox and make sure you go and click on Xbox Console Companion. And then what I did was, was come down to the second one here, which is My Games, and scroll down to M. And as you can see, you've got these two options here. We've got Minecraft Launcher and Minecraft Launcher. The new one from the Microsoft Store is this one with the new sort of updated Earth block. And when you go and click on it, it's going to go and take a minute to load. And as you can see, this is from Mojang slash Microsoft Studios. And it's the one from the Windows Store. As if you go and try and click on this one, you can't because that's not from the Windows Store. So there we go. That's essentially how I went and fixed it if you have any issues. And after closing the Microsoft Store and opening the Xbox app, it seemed to then go and sort of refresh everything and everything had actually downloaded. But I do recommend waiting probably five minutes or so. That's what I did. And then I went and closed it because otherwise it may still be doing downloads, even though it doesn't look like it. You just got to be patient with it. But anyways, then once you've gotten fixed it and the download is finished, you can either go and click the play button here or you can just come down to the bottom as you usually would and you can go and search Minecraft. Um, and as you can see, we've got the Minecraft launcher. This is the old one and the new one is a bit further down here. I'm going to go and click on it and then it's going to go and launch up just like so and I can close off of the store. And then all you need to do is log in. So you can either sign with Microsoft or your Mojang account, depending if you've gone and migrated your account yet. And here we go. You just need to sign in using the Xbox app. As you can see, this is me and you can go and switch account if you'd like. Um, I'm going to go and click Let's Play. You may need to switch account if your Xbox account is a different to your Mojo account, but my Xbox and my Mojo account are on the same one, um, but you may need to switch over, um, but that's really simple. Click switch account. But anyways, I can go and click Let's Play just like this and it's now saying, please wait. And it's now going to load up the launcher. 
and I can go and click on close just like so and here we are on the brand new launcher it looks very similar and as you can see I've still got my Optifine, my Forge and my just latest release as well and that's it if you found this video useful please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel leave a like for more peace